Okay then, let's have a quick look uh, with my newly tuned up guitar. Have a quick look to show you exactly how the song works and what chords are involved. Now, the introduction is again, we have verse one, chorus one, verse two, chorus two, verse three, chorus three, and a small outro. And nothing changes throughout the song except for the outro and, uh, and the fact there is a slight uh, bit of guitar between verse, sorry, chorus one and verse two. But don't need to go into all the detail of that yet. I will just show you what the chord sequences are. Now the introduction is D to G, played twice. The chords for the verse are D to G, played twice, except in the third verse where they're played um, four times. That's the only difference. Then we're going down to a C chord there. And in verses two and three, we're actually going to use our pinky to actually play the G note, which is the third fret of the E string. Just because we're starting to strum the chords in verse two and three, and it just embellishes the um, sound a little bit. Like that. Uh, which is a nice little way of sort of like, I don't know, just varying the way you play a chord and it's, it's just good experience and it sounds good as well. Um, so we have a C and then it goes to a D, like that. The next bit of the chords, A minor, down to E minor, and then to D. Okay, and then we have the chorusy bit which is C, and again, in choruses two and three, where we're strumming the um, chords, we'll use our little pinky to embellish the chord a little bit there. Uh, it then goes to a G chord, and then a D chord. And that's all there is to the song. So what I'll do now, I will play through um, the palm muting bit and play through the strumming bit as we, and uh, just tell you exactly what I'm doing so that you then can just jam along to the, uh, on, the, on the website where we've got the full track for you. Now the palm muting bit goes like this. And all we're doing there is playing our D chord, starting making sure we start off with the D root note and palm muting it so we're not letting the strings run out, uh, ring out, sorry. And then we're just going, but still strumming the full chord or the first, at least the D string and the G string of the chord. And then when we go down here, we're going to hit the B note, which is the second fret of the A string and play the B note and the D note. And then we're going to release that and play the A and D note. And then if you want to, well you can play a bit more of the chord as well if you like, because your fingers are in place for that D chord. So the actual pattern is played with the full chord, like that. Then we're gonna to go to the G chord, and we're going to play this. Exactly the same pattern, except this time we're using the open D and open G string. And we're just going to use the E note to create the riff, uh, which is the second fret on the D string. So we're actually going... Still palm muting, as you can see with the right hand. Still keeping the full chord there in case you play some extra notes so it doesn't sound out of tune. And that's all there is to the palm muting bit for the intro. So we're playing that riff D, D riff to G riff twice. So we're playing the. And we just play that again. Uh, it represents the introduction. Then what we're going to do is play those chord sequences I've just shown you uh, using the palm muting technique and starting each chord with the root note of that uh, particular chord. So when we're playing a D, we're gonna start with the D string. 
When we play a G, you're going to play the full chord like that. When we play the C chord, we're going to play the C note to start off with. When we play the A minor chord, the A note, the A string, E minor chord, bottom E string is the root note. So I'll just quickly play that sequence through for you on the palm muting just so you can get used to how it sounds. So I've just played the intro and this is how the first verse goes. going to play the introduction again and then to the G back down to the D and then to the G and once you've done that we're then going to go into verse 2 now you can play the riff as many times as you like uh, in between the verse and the chorus because uh, when the verse uh, sorry when the chorus ends we've got four sort of uh, bars like this before the comes in again and it's up to you you can play that every time you play that D chord you can just keep that riff going if you like entirely up to you and that's between the uh, end of the first chorus and the second verse now when the second verse comes in we are going to play exactly the same as I've just played there except we're going to strum the chords. Now when we were palm muting it we were just giving a slight bit of emphasis. Just all down note, all down strokes but just maybe a bit of emphasis on the occasional one and that's exactly what we're going to do with the chords. So we've just played the introduction and now I will strum through the chords for you and you can join in. So it's like this. straight into the third verse because there's no gap between the second chorus and the third verse and we're just going to play exactly the same again strumming it slightly harder making sure the chords are very very full and ring out the only difference is is that after we've played the chorus C G D we are then going to play four bars on the D still strumming and then another four bars on the D, and then go to four bars on the G, and then back to four bars on the D, four bars on the G, and just end it whenever you like. So what I'll do, I'll just finish off the song for you, play that last bit of chorus, C, G, D, and just end the song. And I'll just end it when I feel like it, because it's entirely up to you when you end it, whether you're playing on your own, or with a band, or okay, obviously just jamming along with the video. So, last chorus will sound like this. So I hope that's given you a great idea of how to play the chords along with us, uh, 
playing it in the studio, or similarly, if you want to sort of jam along to your X Factor buddies, or again, to the David Bowie version, those chords still hold pretty good. Uh, they might change slightly for the X Factor one, I'm not sure. But that is basically how the song goes, and you can jam along to your heart's content. Very, very simple to play, and I really hope it's uh, given you a lot of, lot of value there, and that you can go away and practice on your own. So, I'll be signing off now, as usual. Let us know how you think, what you think of this, and how you're getting on, and we'll catch up with you all pretty soon. Ciao for now.